Hello, Leo. It is time for your mid-June to beginning of July reading of this current year. Yes, yes, yes. How are you all doing today? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing outstandingly awesome. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your chart. If it resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it too much. It's just a card game after all. Don't come in at me. Don't go in at me. Don't drag me. Don't bring me down, man. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Three cards. Moving forward with... Well, not moving forward with some brand new offer and possibly sneaking away from it. Mm, what are you little sly bastards up to? I wonder. I mean, six ways, of course. Sit back and enjoy the ride. All right. All right. Leo, we got for you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo type, making a slow and sure moving offer. Wants and wishes is making a choice with the Two of Wands. Fears and rejections, Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. Situation is the Wheel of Fortune. What's coming against you, obstacles and challenges, is the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then we have the Hanged Man right here as the catalyst, as well as the final result. But the beginning theme is looking for a reason to stick around, even though things just don't look very up right now. Trying to find a reason to keep your head up in a probably kind of turbulent situation of sorts. Got my new deck with me. So excited. I love these. I really do. Like, I really like these cards. A lot more than what I thought I would. Ooh. Okay. Your first card is... The Nine of Cups, someone coming forward with a slow, sure, moving offer, either an earth sign or this could be you. Trying to make your wish come true. Or trying to get a wish fulfillment. And we come with an offer for that. The Wheel of Fortune. Oop. Um, Wheel of Fortune spinning and it's like this offer... It looks promising, but I don't know if the person will take it or not. Or maybe this person just isn't coming up with this offer like they want to. I feel like they just haven't yet. Now then there is the two of wands right here. Someone's looking back in the past to make a decision for a want and a wish. And this involves possibly having to release something. These cards are so interesting because they're front and back, so I can read four ways. Like, waiting for these, it, it, like, this isn't waiting for somebody to come and release them. With a snake right there looking like, hey, you know. Like, it's not like they're captured or trapped in a situation that, where they need to figure out how to get out. It's just like, you know, they're just here, chilling. They could, like, do whatever at any time. They're kind of like in a timeout from the universe in order to help them make this choice right now. Like, it's like they're wanting time in order to decide what to do when it comes to this past where someone was trying to offer a wish fulfillment or you were trying to get to a wish fulfillment. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio going against you right now. Very in tune with emotions. Very much figuring things out on an emotional level. Because sometimes, Leo, like, you guys just don't like let anybody know what you're feeling. Like, you're embarrassed or something. And I don't know why. Like, no one's going to look down on you for being human, you know? Even though you guys are superheroes and all that, and you're the stars of the show. Well, some of you don't like being the stars. Some of you like being left alone. Because it's just like, okay, I get it. I'm popular. Everybody likes me. Yeah. It's too much, you know? But this could also be like, um, you're looking too much into yourself as well, I feel like. A little bit. Um, probably in a situation with somebody, you could either be feeling like you're trying to fill your emotions out when it comes to some sort of connection with another person that's no longer there, or 
This is like someone was kind of suffocating you and you decided to cut it off a little bit, I think. Your obstacle and challenge is like getting in tune with like understanding that like shit's closed down and all that and jazz and like I was really the I almost feel like this person probably doesn't want it to be closed up because they have such good memories. But it's just like it's just not there anymore. Like drifting apart almost. Ace of Pentacles reverse this offer. It could be the one coming from these earth signs over here. You also have the hangman twice as the callus as well as the final result, which is like it's the crossroads. That's the point of, um, changes as well. Like, someone's trying to look at what's being fair, but they're still kind of being selfish about it. But they're trying to learn. Right? It, it, and they feel like they can't get to calmer waters, probably with an empress, either a mother figure or someone who embodies some sort of nurturing nature who isn't being nurturing right now. Kind of being stuck on her throne and not really caring too much. Now, there could be some, like, ill regrets that someone just can't stop paying tribute to when it comes to a new um, situation. Like, they're still, like, mourning, but the new potential is there. They just have to stop mourning in order to do so. And there's a bad offer here. Huh. Oh, these two dudes were walking away from shit before, but now that they're upright, I'm actually getting a good look at them, and they're facing each other. So, I was kind of wrong, but I don't think I was wrong in the readings. But, like, this bad offer could lead to a lot of, like, maybe a confrontation of sorts that, um... Is not good for dude right here. He doesn't really have anything behind him, and this guy actually has a volcano, but it's like he could be the winner if he really wanted to be when it comes to this bad offer, and this dude would be like shunned and shamed out of the way. Um, all that jazz, right? Now, this offer right here, which is also in the cards as well. Someone finally coming out of this energy where they don't feel stuck to it anymore, or like they'll ne like I don't I don't think it's a um, I think they're afraid that um if they take this bad offer that's been rotting in the ground no longer meaningful I think they'll feel like they even if the ropes are loose. They wouldn't be able to completely get out of it. Like, sure, I'm not really stuck here, but there's a bird flying over my head, and I really just don't want to risk it. It's like, it's almost like they're afraid that, like, it'll keep them in a bind. I'm hanged man. Tell us as well as the final result, Leo. What is this crossroads you possibly dealing with? Making a choice. Two of swords. Once again, making the decision. You're at a crossroads where you, you literally are in a timeout. Like, you're giving, you're being given a break to evaluate. I think this over here, someone offering a wish fulfillment. But still, the Wheel of Fortune is saying that, um, like, this person's being slow with it. Because I feel like they feel that the offer won't be taken in the future for right now. It is a wish fulfillment for sure. Either for you, them, both of you. But at the moment, the offer is not being brought up. For whatever reason. What's the ending theme, please? 
Six of Swords, reverse, reverse. You can't find a way out to calmer waters. So you're just gonna stick around regardless. Like you know there's an exit, but you can't find it in the dark. So you're just gonna stick around and step. Double energy. Well, maybe triple, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how I'm reading these cards, but it's working out for me. I like it so far. <laughs> um, Ace of Cups, this new beginning with love is still like in the, um, still in the dark. Like, you're not sure if it'll be accepted or not. You're not sure if it's even accomplishable, especially since their offers are being made, but it's like not to the satisfaction where I think that it can be accomplished at this point in time. Um, the new love still in the shadows. I almost feel like uh, this Knight of Pentacles is waiting on the Page of Pentacles. Or this Knight of Pentacles, or this Page of Pentacles can't make the offer yet because the Knight of Pentacles has yet to propose this, um, Nine of Cups, this wish fulfillment right here, right? This chilling, being comfortable, having awesome stuff. Like, it's still pretty much in the dark. And here is the full dark side, right? as I am calling it. I don't even, I, like, honestly, I really don't even know if I'm reading these cards right, but I like how I'm reading them. Like, coming up with sweet. Tooting my own horn too much, but that's okay, because I sound, well, I'm more happy than I do sound happy, but I'm happy. But yeah, um, still dark. Might trip over a rock and fall off the cliff, but you, you got their dog there, so at least he's there be like, <laughs> just sniffing around and shit. Like, Taking the leap of faith into the complete unknown. No plan. No thoughts. Maybe your cup gets knocked over, maybe not, but at least you're going out there on a limb. Not really knowing how everything's gonna turn out, but not even sure if you have faith in yourself, but you're just taking that action to just be like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it and see how all of that comes up. I don't know how it'll go for you, but, uh, yeah, and Nida Swords Reverse Reverse, Dark Side, right? He's not battling, he's not arguing, he is just still calm. He's not, um, it's like he went out on an adventure. And you became this warrior that, um, <clears throat> a lot of people only see certain aspects of, you know, this side, it, it, it's very fierce and just looking for a fight, but it's just like very fierce, but like keeping that fierceness in check, not really, not even really bragging about like whatever swiftness of tongue you have as well. So I don't see that as entirely bad. You might be trying to stay out of conflicts, verbal or otherwise, or things that'll tax your mind as well. That's why you're going on this journey, because it's just like, I might be going in the unknown, but at least I'm going in the unknown prepared. And perhaps, like, you'll see whether or not... Yeah, you know, like, this dude's riding up to this cup to look at her and be like, hey, are you coming, bitch? But if not, you know, I want to see what's out here. And I've got the tools I need to to do it. Um... But I will not go with taxation of the mind as well. So, that's your reading, Leo. Thank you for watching. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. If you so choose to give me those, that's up to you. Um, like, share, and subscribe, of course. That's all as, as la 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 la. That's as well up to you. You guys, have a good day. I love your face. Take it easy, bye-bye.